so hello guys welcome to my new youtube video in this video i'm gonna teach you how to install terror reptile with a domain and yes i know it's been a long time after uploading this videos but yes i'm trying my best to push in the videos you know to get new videos but i am kind of making all the videos again in english so that you know we more people can understand the content on this channel and yes i'm gonna stream also on this channel but those stream may be in hindi both languages hindi and english but that's a different topic so yep and i'm gonna show you how to buy a server from zap hosting because i got some credits and i'm gonna use this clip from my previous video which i so i bought a server from zap hosting for the previous video which i did for without domain so I'm just going to use this clip for this video as well. So yes. So I'm going to show you how to purchase the server and install the Terrorectal panel in the server which Zap provides. So first thing first, you need to go to root servers, v root servers on their dashboard on the main screen. Okay not the vps because vps virtualization it does not support a rectangle so you need to press on root servers okay then after going to root servers you need to go to root source again here in the middle the middle one okay and in the middle one you need to click on it okay it's 12.90 dollars or euros sorry and it will get you on this page where they have germany and other servers you can select from but they don't have in singapore but i think they'll have it in some time i don't know and we're gonna scroll down okay whenever you are done with your selection of the servers i'm gonna use all the basic uh, configurations you can do your configuration accordingly i'm gonna use the default 18.04 ubuntu machine because i don't have a higher version of the OS but don't worry I'm gonna teach you how to install higher version in this video too so yeah you need to pre press prepaid not contract because prepaid will help us to get the server for only one month if you do contract wise it will go on connect like you know cancelling money from your account if you have some money and you can get a discount if you use my coupon code which is work for coconut okay i'm gonna put it in my description box and also on the screen here okay so once that is done you can also use my affiliate link from my description box okay that will help my channel grow and buy this kind of vps's and all so it would be very very helpful if you could do it so here is a demo i'm showing you how to do it First, you need to click on the description link which I have. Okay, and then you need to register. After you register on this link, okay, you need to go back and then go back and click on the link so that it redirects you to my link again. And then purchase the server because if you do it, directly after registering it will not benefit me or it will only show that a person has registered but it will not get me the benefits of the affiliate link so yes so now i have purchased the server and i will get it in under one minute so till then i will wait for it to come so as you can see our machine is set up already so now we're gonna do the part like where you know we need to set up the machine because this is a machine which is set up with version 18.04 it's a very old version so we need to upgrade it so for that we are gonna go in settings for now settings and then we're gonna type in a password for it so a password could be coconut wait let me just type it again anything the password can be okay password is set save okay we good to go copy the ip okay remember the password open come yes 
okay and i'm gonna delete this one this is the from the old video so i'm gonna add new and show you so the ip goes here so i'll name this as yt username root password a password which i had set and connect okay so we are good to go it will say connect for you there okay or you know replace will not come because this is the second time i'm connecting to it i made a video about this on this uh, server so yeah it is showing me like that but it will not show you like that it will come as continue over there for you so leaving that aside uh the system needs a re reboot so i'll give it a reboot so this can take around a one minute delay because depending on how old the machine is and it, if it's not updated for a long time then it can take a lot of time to restart so for now we need to go to this website i will link the website in the description where you can go to the website and cop copy these commands very helpful website so yep i'm gonna copy these commands and keep them ready until the server boots so yeah the server is on i'll paste the command it will download all the dependencies which are not there so looks like we have all the dependencies i'm gonna do it once more just to be on the safe side yes we have all the dependencies now we need to reboot it again because after updating you need to reboot it so reboot and we are gonna connect it again so refresh start over again and we should be in in the machine yep we are in so we are gonna copy this command now this is to upgrade the machine from 18.04 to the latest version okay some of you you don't need to do this because you will be having the higher versions right so don't use the lower versions from 18.04 so we're gonna upgrade it to the version so copy paste and now it will be updating to the latest version to press y and then enter and wait for the script to do its work so you need to press yes here again so now i'm gonna press yes You need to restart the services so i'm gonna do left arrow and enter now there will be multiple screens where you need to press enter so just press enter here just press enter here there will be more screens like this now you need to press enter as i said before just keep on pressing enter on the screens then you have to press y here again y and this so will restart now okay so after restarting we need to run some more commands so that we can install the panel all the commands will be given in the description box below so nothing to worry about so this will take some time to connect and now it will connect and yep it's connected so we'll do apt update slash upgrade 
for now to see if we have any upgrades we don't have any so i'm gonna open the ports okay and now i'm gonna enable them yes so we are done with enabling so now we are installing Teratel with a domain right so we need to go to our cloud player or domain managing services okay and you need to get the ip of the machine so copy okay so i'm, I'm gonna go to the the domain and add a e record naming as panel you can name it as anything and i'm gonna put the ip here proxy of okay and then i'm gonna add one more record i'm gonna put the name as wings okay this is the wing put the ip here and proxy of and save okay every domain provider who has the system where you can edit this records may take some time but with cloudflare it's fast so i recommend using cloudflare so now we're gonna go to the machine again so now we're gonna run the script so that we can install the panel so here is the script we're gonna install both the panel and the wings so two i want the panel name as panel database name is this yeah i'm good so i'm gonna put my time zone you can put your time zone so my time zone is asia kolkata and for email i'm gonna put my email here here is my email so i'm gonna use this email okay for the admin account also the same email i'm gonna use the username as coconut okay first name as coconut and then last time is gamer password you can put anything of your choice but remember you need to log in in the panel using these credentials so don't forget the passwords so now we need to put panel dot okay i'm gonna copy my domain from cloudflare yeah you can get it here so that you don't make mistakes so you need to put panel the thing you put here okay dot okay dot then your full domain name like this if you put something else over here like for example server so you need to put server dot coconut please dot com like that it will be your domain there so yep now we're gonna enter we don't need the firewall because we already did the firewall work so it's a no do we need ssh sorry yes do we need uh, ssl yes we need ssl so yes because we are doing it with a domain so why not we put a domain ssl certificate yes install yes so now it will be installing our panel so you can just open your panel link here okay and wait so by the time this can take a lot of time to install depending on your internet speed and your resources you have on your computer so you need a time yes here yeah. you can put it no also but i would recommend yes so we need to put a a for apple so we are getting a certificate for our domain here and as you can see it's saying success okay we got the certificate and keep in mind you need to open all the ports okay with the ports which i opened otherwise the ssl will not work properly so i'm gonna allow it to install the wing by the time we set up the panel so wing installation yes okay and yep we are on the panel page you might have to refresh okay so i'm logging in in the panel here we go 
so now we need to go to locations create i'm gonna do in india and i'm gonna create a node for example node 01 okay so now here we need to put as this wings dot coconut gamer dot xyz the one we added here so the wings one right so we need to add the same there so i'm gonna copy this now because we have to put it in the terminus also so ram i have like 8 gb vps so this is 8 gb vps i'm gonna give it 7 gb zero over allocation is zero and space uh, it's like 60 gb so i'm gonna give it 40 for now you can increase it afterwards also so that's not an issue create node okay here you can put your ip address okay i'm gonna scroll you can you can put also your domain here for example panel dot or wings dot okay two five five six five minus two six sorry two five six zero zero so that we get a range of words so click on configuration tab okay and wait so we don't need firewall no we don't need a database too that that will be a, another video uh we need ssl yes so we need to give the domain name so i'm gonna copy it from here for now you can just type it there okay this is the domain name we are using for the wing and now uh, it will download all the dependencies for the wing after we do the process so yes uh, for the email i'm gonna use the same email so i'm gonna copy it again paste yes so we got the ssl on that domain so now we're gonna copy this part here okay click on generate token copy this okay and then paste it here in the terminal and copy this command system ctl start wings to start the wings okay the wings are online you can verify it by clicking on node and if it's a green heart it's on if it's not then you have some, done something wrong and you need to fix it you can go in the discord of the territory or come to me if i'm free i can help you so this is the thing i wanted to explain you and this was it for this video we can discuss about more things about this videos in my discord server you can join my discord server and please do subscribe to my channel it helps me a lot and motivates me a lot too so this was it for this video i will see you in other videos till then bye bye and take care